Thank you for joining us as we welcome Comrade Steve, the man that stands for ordinary beneficiaries, ordinary masses. He is coming from, he said he's coming from the constituents of the masses. He's out this evening to uh, lay his voice on the current situation in the grant ecosystem. We love this man. He always respect everybody's feeling. He, he never for once threw an insult word. But what he's doing in the grant ecosystem is making sure that he, the money is being dispersed to the poor masses. Pay attention to come receive as he came out giving directive and he went on to tell the people that anybody that stands for the masses he should come out let's work together i personally good news life of the we are for the masses so you uh, we are standing with you and we are supporting you we are making sure that we project whatever you have uh, to tell the masses here from our end thank you comrade steve thank you for your good work and we pray that your mission your vision uh went through in the grant ecosystem in order to elevate the poor masses thank you pay attention to comrade steve as he came out to give uh, a direction on what to do good news live update stay tuned good evening the grand community this is the voice of comrade steve igoli speaking today the 14th 14th day of july 2024 i want to greet all the masses all the expectant subscribers of grant in nigeria Tomorrow is going to be Monday, the beginning of the working day. And I hope that this week we are entering is going to be a week of lot of activities. Judging from the VN and a lot of write-up we have seen in this week that just passed. I want to address the masses because that is the constituency where I belong to. And I really want us to be very, very careful those of us who are neither NGO owners, bundle head, or have any major stake in this grant, just a subscriber and expectant beneficiary in grant. I want to draw all our attention that is those in the masses constituency, the constituency where I belong. Like I said, I'm not an NGO owner, no a bundle head, but a volunteer speaking on behalf of the masses who are voiceless. Those are the people that I'm representing. I want to please appeal to those who were trained up right from childhood to adulthood that the only thing you know in your life is to insult, that you have no respect for humanity. I want to appeal to you. I'm only speaking to those who believes in me, those who view things same with me. You can have your own view. We are in a democratic dispensation. So if all of us begin to think alike, that means that we are no more human. The Almighty who created us, He created us to think differently. If your thought and mind are same, fine. But it's going to be very difficult for all of us to think alike. So, for those of you whom the moment you hear anyone that speak to pitch against what you believe in or whom you support, the next is to go and buy data of 50 MB or 100 MB or the case may be. Put in your phone and grab your keypad and begin to insult. I want to appeal to you that please, you are not the one I'm addressing this evening. I'm only addressing those whom believe in what I believe in. Because I am not disturbing whatever you believe or whoever you are supporting. The air is too large for the bed to clash on the, on the sky. So whoever you want to support, can go ahead and support. Whoever you want, whatever you want to believe, can go ahead and believe. It's a very big world that has capacity to accommodate all of us. And that is the reason why I don't want to, I don't like making VN, calling names and insulting anyone's. But for those of you, I repeat, that were brought up in an irresponsible manner to insult, you don't know who is your elders, you don't respect humanity, all you know, you grab and you insult. Most of those people that you are insulted, when you see them in life, you can't even talk. You tremble when you see them. There are so many people who one way or the other have offended me. 
be a grant handler, NGO owner, whatever. But because of the sake of humanity and my respect for humanity, I decided not to raise my voice or to use negative word against anybody. I am taking time to stress this to those whom all you know is to rain down people down. That is, I'm taking my time to beg you, to appeal to you. I'm not warning you. I'm only appealing to you. Because there's no amount of warning that you that it will get to ears. That's why I'm appealing to you. Hence, you were not trained the way I was trained. I was trained in a humble, a humble background. My parents are very respectful, respectful people, and they imbibe internalize that in me. And that is why I speak with a lot of respect whenever I'm, at, I'm addressing any issue. So for you that does not have that kind of training, please, it's either you learn or you please, you leave my way. It's an appeal I'm making to you. Now, back to the masses, those who believe in I, Comrade Steve Igoli, I want to appeal to you. Don't be an instrument of you being used by anyone in order to achieve their selfish desire. Some of them are calling on you to come out to come and protest. I want to tell you, some of them are not genuinely representing you. Some of them are representing their selfish interest. So beware, be careful on whom you come out, say you want to come and support. If anyone want to draw your attention or to call for your attention or to call for you to leave what you are doing to come and support them, we need to hear from the person. Let us know what and what, how prepared the person is. Another thing, the question we need to ask before the, you, the masses, will come out, say you want to go and protest for anyone. Today we will be hearing President of NGOs, bundlehead leaders, and the rest of them, they are all there in the social media. They have come, they have formed a association, union at the top, from the NGO, association of NGO, even though some of them disagree, are disagree within themselves that they don't have any president who is their leader. It's not our business. Whether they have leader or not, it's not, it's not my cup of tea. Because there's disagreement within them. Some of them, I'm telling you, if this money gets to them, if they have the way to corner it all, they will do it and they won't give you a dime. And now they are calling on you because there cannot be any NGO without members. It is you, the members, that they are their strength. But now, some of them are behaving like saints as if they are fighting for you. I want to tell you honestly, some of them, if you go and investigate them very well, is a selfish desire they are fighting for, not for you. They are only covering it up. So you, the masses, be very careful on how you support blindly. Because you love somebody, voice of where you come from, whatever, doesn't mean that you just follow. Then, to the bundle heads, they have been quiet for some time now. There was a time they said they had the association and the rest of them. If the bundle heads, heads alone, and the NGOs alone, whom they cannot exist without the masses, if they alone can come out on their own alone, at least they can move mountains, they are moving whatever is an obstacle, to this grant that this grant has not been disbursed. Because the masses are the mercy of those who that I mentioned, the NGOs and the bundle heads. So be wise the way you support them. Because the way they told us about this money, this money is going to come through them to you, the masses. Just pray to God that they will not corner what belongs to you. Because already, some of the NGOs owners are not reachable. Many people have come out to social media that they cannot reach their NGO owners. They cannot talk to them. They don't pick their call and all what not. This is a sign of bad thing that may happen. I pray it doesn't happen. That is my prayers. So be wise on whom you, whom you follow. Because they are only mentioning your name. Some of them don't have any good intentions for you. Because since we have been talking because though the masses are the majority, I alone cannot represent the whole masses. I want more people, more, to come out and say, I represent the masses. I am not selfish to be a selfish leader that just I alone. If I see anybody who comes out today who is representing the masses, belong to the masses, whom is not the NGO owner or don't know head or whatever, and you present the masses, if I see that your ideas are better than mine, I come receive, I will keep mine and support you. All I want is this money to get to the masses. It's not about me. There's no crown that I'm going to wear that or any fade that I'm going to put on my cap to say, oh, you have done too well. Whoever that God is going to use to bring 
succor to the masses. That is a person I, Comrade Steve, will support. It must not be me. And this is what I want to make a lot of people to understand. I'm not championing anything for my selfish desire. Neither am I looking for popularity. So for those of you who think maybe I'm looking for popularity, come out the way I'm coming out and see if I will not support you. Be it finance, be it coming out. That was why the day on going to CDHR, I came out in person. I came out physically in person. I didn't fly there. I went there by transport. Even though that day my car was bad, I couldn't go with my car, but I spent money and when I didn't flew there. And so many people who came there that day, few, few people that came, most of the people that were ranting on social media, they were nowhere to be found. All their energy, they are just social media warriors where they can only grab keypad and then type and run people down. They don't care. Many of them didn't turn up that day. The people I never expected were the people that, that turned up. Very few that came that day. I don't think they were up to 20 or 30 or thereabout. In spite of all the ranting on social media, because that is where the population is. But on physical population, you may not see them there. So, the masses, please, be wise. Whatever move you want to move to support anyone, please let we raise it together. Let us be very sure that if this money gets to these people, they will give it to us. Let us be very, very sure. Anyone that is calling for a press conference or go for fact finding, fact finding or whatever concerning document or whatever and they are calling you the masses, let us be wise the way we support them. We should not go against anyone who has a genuine cause. Anyone that has genuine cause, let's support. But anyone that want to use us, the masses, get what he or she want and dump. Because that is how the grant handlers have done. Because this money that we are talking about, this money is for the masses. At the top, they have collected all they have to collect through the masses, to the bundle head, to NGOs, NGO, now to grant handlers. Now, they have left you people in the dark. You cannot reach them. You cannot call them. They don't even talk to you. So let us be wise. This week we are entering. Let's try as much as possible. I keep telling us, my phone is always open. So many people have been calling me. I've been telling people what to do and what not to do. Don't go and join anyone who wants to cause trouble. Because at the end of the day, when they pick you, they will not be there to come for you. So be wise on whom you support so that you don't fall into trouble. It's an appeal and make it. So please, ladies and gentlemen, I'm praying that this week that we're entering, let it be a fruitful week. Let it be a week that great things will happen to us. For those genuine NGOs who are very genuine with good intention, you can see many of them, they open platform. Go and check out of the platform. You cannot make comment. You cannot post. You cannot forward. They only gather you from the group, have large followers and they shut you down. That is a kind of way. They are beginning to manifest what they can do if this money, some of them, if this money come to them, instead of them releasing this money to you, some of them they don't mind. Let this money even go. Just ordinary platform that they created. People join the platform. Now, check most of them. You cannot make any comments there. Any little comment you make, you are booted out. You cannot forward any good... Even if they post any good message, you can't forward out. Even if you have any good message, you cannot even drop any message there. That is a sign to show you the kind of people that they are. It's only very few platforms that are open that you can comment and you can post or you can move forward. Some of them that they even open for comment. You speak whatever goes against them. You are booted out with speed. They don't tolerate. That's why I keep praising Admin Rio. That is a man with a large heart that can tolerate. The rest, be careful. Any platform you see, wherever it is shut down, you cannot make comment except the owner or the admins. Be careful of those people. Be very careful. It's a warning I'm given. Let us be careful and be wise as we enter this brand new week that is coming up. My prayer is that let this money get to us. For all the social media warriors, I'm appealing to you people. My VN is not for you, please. You can drop your own VN. I'm not speaking to you. I'm speaking to those who believe in me. Those are the people I'm, I'm talking to. I cannot have everybody believing in me. It's not possible. 
even the almighty God who created heaven and earth and everything, there are people who doesn't believe that God exists. In this earth, the atheists, they don't believe that God exists. If men doesn't believe in God, how much more I, a mortal man, who believes in God? So why would I have that feeling that everyone will believe in me? So the few that believe in me, they are okay with them. Those of you that does not believe in me, that do not believe my VN or my vision or whatever, please, I'm begging you, stay away from my VN whenever I make them. Even if there's one person that believes in me, I'm okay. I'm not looking for crowd. As the inspiration comes to me by the Holy Spirit, by God, the expression comes to me. That is how I come out to make my VN. So, I don't insult anybody. But those of you who are trained right from childhood to insult that you have no respect growing up from childhood, no problem. I cannot help your situation. It's only God that can cleanse your heart and make you a better person. It's unfortunate you were trained in that manner. I wasn't trained, so I'm proud of my parents who trained me very well not to insult anyone, be it adult, young, my age group, or whatever. I'm proud of the kind of parent I have, the kind of background I have, that I have respect for humanity. And that is why if anyone who has been calling me, if you ask them, every call that I come, I pick. Every message that I come, I reply. Because I value human being. Human being, the wealth of human being is my constituency. So please, the masses, those that believe in me, be wise. Any move you want to move, please, try and reach us, reach me. And any other person I know that is fighting for the masses, not me alone, there are so many, some that I don't know, please, let us see how we can come together. We have association of NGOs already. We have that of uh, uh, bundle heads. Let we, the food soldiers, they are food soldiers because we are the ones that are using with the food soldiers. Let us also unite at the bottom so that they cannot use us anyhow as they want. Because as the elef two elephants are fighting, it is the grasses that are suffering. You guys are the grasses. Thank you all and God bless, bless all of you.